or we won't be acceptable either. All right? I thank God that God the Father sent Jesus Christ to let him die. Otherwise, we have no hope at all. All right? God can create another universe and leave us here with the devil. He is sovereign after all. He can do that. But he choose to stay here. Let us read it. Romans 10, 9. Okay? We've read the first two verses. Now let's read the remaining till 17. Alright? Romans 10, 11. Romans 10, 11. You see, in Romans 10, Paul is talking about salvation. And how he prayed uh, that Israel will be saved. But Israel is seeking righteousness through the law. When in fact Paul said already, okay, that nobody can be justified by the law. Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But Paul also introduces the righteousness by faith. Okay? Righteousness by faith. If you read carefully, you will soon find out man can do anything. Alright? We'll go on. And the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Do you trust in church? With your life. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all. And richly blesses all who call on Him. So as you can see, salvation is offered. Okay? Both to the Jews and Gentiles. We are the Gentiles. Now, let us not boast church because we have just been grafted in. Alright? He doesn't spare the, 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 the branches. Okay? How much we are already grafted in. Okay, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Church, did you ever call the name of the Lord? Have you ever called the name of the Lord? And you will find out as we go on to the next verse why they call upon the name of the Lord. How then can they call on him on the one they have not believed in? And how they believe in the one whom they have not heard? How can they hear without someone preaching to them? So as you can see, Romans 10, 9, okay, goes on to explain why a person can confess Jesus, okay, as Lord, because they called the upon Now, let me ask you, church, when, will, when was the last time you called upon Jesus? Okay. I like David. Do you? I think yeah, he's a great man, a God after uh, a man after God's own heart. I cannot even have that title. Okay, he can't even have that title, a man after God's own heart. But nevertheless, I like David. Okay, when he was confronted with his sin with Bathsheba, okay, both adultery and murder. He was miserable of his sin. All right. If you look, if you read Psalm fifty-one, I can hear his cry. Okay. That he sinned against God, and he doesn't want the Holy Spirit to be banished from his life. He is really in need of God. Now, until you realize God, you won't know who God is. All right. The problem with modern evangelism, they don't emphasize the need of God. Okay, They emphasize what God can do. They will emphasize what who God is. If you read in the Bible who God is, you will see, maybe you will say, that is not my God. Alright? I could never have a God like that. Okay? But truth is truth. Okay? If you learn to hold on to truth, you will be saved. You will be set free. 
Isn't that true? All right. Years ago, I, I have seen a movie, okay? Back in the days when I was still worldly. I've seen a movie called A Few Good Men. All right? A Few Good Men. Have you heard, have you seen that movie? A Few Good Men, Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson. Okay? Now, I would not endorse the movie. <laughs> okay? But there is one segment there. All right? It was actually in the courtroom when Tom Cruise wants the truth. And Jack said, you can't handle the truth. Huh? Let me tell you, some of us Christians can't handle the truth. Because we want to hear what we want to hear. We don't want to hear what God has to say. It's like the children of Israel. Alright? Even though God told them that the... It's not my will for you to have a king. It is my will that I am your king. Because if you have a king, your, your king will get, get here, will get your council tax. All right? You will have a lot of taxes, give you licenses. Now, that's just a paraphrase, but you know what I mean. All right? <laughs> Come to think of it, they are living free under God's provision. And still they were a king because they saw other nations of kings. It's very sad. Alright? And God told them, I don't want you to be a king. They can't handle the truth. Alright? People are like that. They can't handle the truth. A famous preacher once said, truth. Okay? Is painful. Do you agree? Truth is painful. But it is never harmful. That's what I like about truth. If you learn to embrace truth, it will harm you. It's certainly painful, okay? To know. But it's never harmful. And with hope, the scriptures even says, truth will set you free. Amen? Amen. Let's move on. Ted. And how can they preach unless they are sent? As he's written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. 10.16. Okay. But not all this one has accepted the good news. This only says, they can't handle the truth. But science says, Lord, who has believed our message? 1017. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. Otherwise, it says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen? What was the word of God there? Okay? The word there in Greek is Rhema, the revelation. All right? If you look at Hebrews 4.12, that the same, the sword, the word is the sword, living and powerful. I don't know about you, but every time I hear the message, okay, it just brings power. The message of the gospel is preached. And Paul is not ashamed of it. Alright? For it is the power of God unto salvation. Gospel message. Get it right. Christians. We need to proclaim it. Have you ever had a chance to share your faith? Okay? Through the right presentation of the gospel. Have you ever had a chance? If you had a chance, please do so. If you had a chance and you didn't do it, then I remind you. Okay? Matthew 10.32 Flash up for everybody to read. Whoever acknowledges me, okay, other version says, whoever confesses me, before man. Now how do we confess 
you, Lord Jesus, before man. Declare the gospel. The central figure of the gospel, Jesus himself. Before man, I will also acknowledge him or confess him for my father. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, him I will confess also before my father which is in heaven. A warning to most believers. You don't share the gospel. Okay? When there is a right time to do so, whether God has given opportunity for you to do so, okay, it only means you do not confess. Warning, he won't confess you either. Now this message, okay, is both a teaching, it's both a warning. And I want you, church, to always remember the word of the Lord Jesus. This one. I'll tell you, it's the last days. Deceptions are already here. Alright? Let's proclaim and confess Jesus is Lord through our of the gospel. So we all bow down our heads. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for your word today. And now, Lord, through your Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, that you will begin your work in our hearts. That we are not only confessors, Lord Father God, but also forsakers of our sin. But we are not only confessors of the doctrine, Lord Father God, but the doers of the word. Lord, we ask, Lord, that as we go through our walk with you, Lord, guide us, teach us, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in all things and in all opportunities, Lord, to share your word. Father, we proclaim the gospel, Father God, as you have commanded us. Now, therefore, O oh God, we ask you, Lord, that in our lives, Father God, you are you will bless us, Lord, with good health, Lord, as we go along in our lives for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Direct our paths, Father God, to every person. Direct our path, Lord, Father God, to our friends, to our families, Lord, who do not know you yet. Father, allow us, Lord, to proclaim to them the right gospel, Father. Allow us, Lord, to proclaim, Lord, the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, keep us away from false doctrines, Lord, false gospels, Father. Allow us, Lord, to, to, to fight, Lord, against those heresies, Father. Oh, Father, this is the last days, Lord, and we are excited for your second coming, Father. Second coming, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that us that would happen, Lord. Prepare us. Prepare our hearts, Lord. Purge us, Lord, from every filthiness. Purge us, Lord, from the former learnings that we had, Lord, Father. And welcome us, Lord, to the right knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, bless GGICM, Lord. Father, allow GGICM to be the beacon of life for the gospel, Father. The people will come to know the real Jesus. The people will come to know the real God. And therefore, O oh God, we give you back all the praise, the glory, and the honor for doing this in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone says, Amen. God bless you all.